in her head. She was really about ideas and about knowing what's right and 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 taking action. And she she took she took it very seriously that you know we we each need to do what we can to 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 make the world a better place to right right the wrongs that are happening. Like she cared about Aboriginal rights. She cared about. Uh, uh, LGBT rights. She cared about uh, new, like newcomers, uh, refugees in Canada. I don't feel like I can do. I don't feel like I can do as much as she did. She was just a force. My name is Julian Van Mossel Forrester. Uh, lived in Kitchener for uh, almost sixteen years, uh, although I was born here, so I consider myself to be a Kitchener person. <laughs> um, that's the longest I've lived in any one place. So I'm Sarah Anderson, and um, I feel very rooted in this particular neighborhood. Um, we live in, we call it, the, I guess we call it the Bright Up neighborhood, or Mount Hope Bright Up, and so I feel very connected, especially as a mom with young kids, to just to the the community that we've built around this area. Um, right now, busy doing schoolwork. I'm trying to finish a master's in environmental studies, and, and I I'm very interested in I guess community development processes through art and and story and um, creativity. And that's part of what connects the two of us. So I think. I, I think of myself as um, a creative person who has a lot of different interests, but not a lot of time to explore <laughs> explore each of them. Uh, but I'm uh, uh, passionate about uh, environmental sustainability, uh, working working on in environmental issues, and um, and about listening to One music. More time. And playing guitar <laughs> with my kids. <laughs> One Friday evening, I had to go and pick up Julian's mom at the Via Rail station in downtown Toronto, and, or at the at Union Station in downtown Toronto, and I, I can't remember why, but it was 11 o'clock at night that I had to go, and I happened to talk to Lorna at maybe 10 o'clock that night, and this was just maybe, let's say, two years ago, so she would have been 88 years old, and she, and she said, well, you're not going by yourself, and I said, uh, are you? You shouldn't do that, and... And I said, well, I'll be fine. And she said, well, I'll, I'll come with you. And it, it didn't take her, you know, it just, in a second she decided. Oh, yeah, we had been saying, okay, for the, we're gonna be there a bit early, so we're gonna get out and we're gonna go have a nice piece of chocolate cake. If we can find a piece of chocolate cake or brandy, that's where we're gonna have that and wait for Ellen. And then in the, in the end there was traffic and so we were late and it was, and we were kind of um, exhausted. So we walked and, walked and walked and walked and walked <laughs> at 11 o'clock out of this, out of this um, parking garage, and then we got, I, I just assumed there would be an escalator or an elevator, and we got to, I think it was about two or three sets of stairs, and I, my, I just, my stomach just plummeted, and I thought, oh, well, I am going to kill this woman, she's gonna have a heart attack here, well, so we, so we, we, but sh there was nothing that we could really do, and so I just, I think we, I just kind of gave her my arm and we walked up step by step very slowly and then people, she was along. in, you know, in good humor the whole way, forgiving me, you know, saying kind oh, things, just laughed and told stories the whole way home. But that was, to me, that's this, my sense of her as this person just very much up for adventure, possibility. Because of her example, we think about how are we going to, how are we going to, teach that kind of way of being in the world to our to our daughters. I, I hope that we can find a way to kind of engage our, our kids in 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 ways they can make a difference in the world. It was a long, 
a long letting go of Lorna uh, because... And uh, so she, she died on a Saturday morning and we were all there right with her and f for some reason my aunt, it was like she knew that she was about to die because my aunt just started saying goodbye, like very vocally just sat down, just kneeled down right beside her and was t talking to her and... Um, but but she, somehow my aunt knew <laughs> and it was pretty it was pretty amazing uh to just be there and um yeah hello sarah it's lorna calling just called to wish you a happy birthday dear i guess you are maybe over at your mom's or somewhere anyway happy birthday and We'll see you soon, I hope.